Hey everyone, this is Nunny here. Time for a brand new trailer reaction. I'm ready to get into this. We're going to take a look at the new movie, Night Bitch, that stars Amy Adams. I think this is sort of a dramedy, comedy drama with like elements of horror in there. Uh, so from what I've read, Amy Adams plays a, kind of like a new mother and uh, th this whole thing of motherhood is starting to change her. And uh, I think she's like starts to take up the characteristics or traits of, of a dog. Um, and, and that starts to like kind of affect the whole family dynamic and uh, relationships that she has with her friends and everything like that. But that's really all I know. I might be off when it comes to the toad and things like that. But, you know, Amy Adams is is one of the, the best actors working today. I just loved a, a, a lot of things that she's done in terms of her work and her output and everything like that. Arrival um, is probably my, my favorite performance of hers. But um, she's pretty much great at anything that she does. And this feels like it's going to be a new direction for her in terms of being an actor. You know, she's going to be playing someone who uh, I think is going to be turning into like a, a dog or a werewolf or something like that. Um, I haven't read the uh, the book that this movie is based off of. I think, um, I think his name is Rachel Yoger, I think is her name, um, who, wrote the, who wrote the book. Um, so, so I don't know anything about the, the book or the event. So if anyone is watching this and has read the, the book, please share your comments. Let me know what, what you think of, about the trailer and uh, your thoughts about, you know, what, what you are seeing, if, if it's uh, accurate to the book or if it's totally accurate to the book or anything like that. But we're just going to get right into it. So this is going to be the first trailer for Night Bitch. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. He's super cute. Do you just love getting to be home with them all the time? Oh. Yeah, I do. I love it. Oh, no. You're an artist, right? Well, I, I used to be. Oh, wow. wow. But that feels like a lifetime ago. So yeah, 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 totally. Definitely. We get it. I used to be a stripper. The before times. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nobody in this yeah. family can clean their own butts. No, no, no. I will rip your throat out. Okay. For what it's worth, I would kill to stay home with them every day. Okay. Or would you? Mama Fuzzy. She's attracted to all of these dogs. Just People are riding off. her. Look at my teeth. Mm. See how sharp they are? It's a little bit weird. Motherhood. It changes you. It connects you to some primal urges. I feel like I'm stuck. Make up a plan, draw up a schedule. Happiness is a choice. <laughs> Happiness is a choice. I'll try. I'm never going to be smart, happy, or thin ever again. So did Amy oh, Adams sure like put on some dog. weight for this role? <laughs> You're so funny. Do you ever feel like the big secret is that we are gods? We fucking create life. We are so powerful. What the fuck? I could crush a walnut with my vagina. <laughs> I am a woman. I am an animal. I am night bitch. You're so dirty. Where did you go? Run. Okay, let's go. December. Let's do it. Okay, that was the trailer for Night Bitch. And yeah, that looks intriguing. So Amy Adams obviously plays a mother who is struggling uh, to kind of keep her, her head in check with, with her kids and everything like that. Um, or with her, her newborn toddler. And um, she's not really getting a whole lot of help from her husband. She's kind of doing, you know, everything on her own, taking the reins of uh, raising this child. And it seems like that the, the, the strains and the pressures of motherhood uh, is changing her uh, physically and uh, psychologically as well. Um, it looks like that, you know, her, her teeth are sharpening. Uh, it looks like she's getting a, a, a deeper affinity for, for certain meats and everything like that. And, Obviously, these are all the, the tropes that we've seen in werewolf movies, uh, where when someone's turned into a werewolf, they start to take traits of like the wolf or the dog and things like that. So it seems like that they're using, you know, the the idea of motherhood 
as a way to trigger uh, these uh, these powers uh, to, to turn uh, these these women into wolves or dogs, really. Um, so I'm definitely interested in seeing how this is going to all track and play out. Uh, A.B. Adams, obviously, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the trailer is one of my favorite actors. I think she can pretty much do almost anything. So I'm really interested in seeing how she's going to, to pull this off of being uh, a domesticated housewife that has these, uh, these powers to transform into a, a wolf or a dog. Um, but also... Uh, I'm, I'm interested in like the the tone of this movie because it seems like it is doing like kind of a uh, dramedy kind of thing. It's kind of switching between comedy and drama, and it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of horror elements to it, other than you know uh, having a Amy Adams change into a dog. But it doesn't seem like there's anything horrific. It doesn't look like anyone's getting slaughtered or murdered or eaten alive or anything like that. It just looks like you know she's turning into uh, Amy Adams is turning into a dog every night or so and um she comes back and and that's pretty much it uh, but that in itself is probably going to affect her relationship with her husband and her relationship with her child and her relationship with her friends and things like that so we're just going to see how all of that is going to play out but those are my initial thoughts and feelings on the trailer for night bitch i'm really interested in seeing this and i'll obviously give you guys a review once the movie is released. But what did you guys think of the trailer? Share your thoughts, leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.